Now, one of the biggest problems here, I think, there's two possibilities. There's a tendency, it's worthwhile making this lesson, there's a tendency to think that because you've got an electronic instrument to measure something, that therefore it's accurate. But these guys here are about $6.99 down the local electronic store, and it may not be accurate at all. So to check this out, what you would do is check out different multimeters. When we use an electronic balance, we assume the electronic balance is, is accurate, but it may not be, and quite often you've got to go back and check the electronic balance to see how that's calibrated. Um, and then you could go in, we could have a big discussion about how do you actually check it's calibrated, because ultimately you've got to put a known weight onto it. So you've got to say, no, the weight is one kilogram. You put it on here and you say, right, I've got, it should give me a reading of one kilogram. But that only begs the question, how do you know the known weight is one kilogram? and how do you verify that? And you keep going all the way back and back and back until you've got to have a standard. And the standard for mass is what? Right. The, the standard unit is kilograms, but how do you know you've got a kilogram? You keep putting it on electronic balances. How do you know the electronic balance there's is valid? One, there's one kilogram that they have in... They assume that's one, or they said that's one kilogram, and yeah. then they took copies of it. Yeah, that's exactly what you got. So you've got to go all the way back to Paris, and I think they have one in America where they have the standard kilogram. And if you want to test what you've got, you've either got to go all the way back to that or use something else which has been compared directly or indirectly to that. So, so the only lesson I'm getting here is don't necessarily think that just because you've got multimeters, in fact, these guys are fairly notorious for being accurate. Where? Just a couple of things here, just, and again, it's not all that related to it, but when I was measuring resistance, one of the things I did incorrectly was I was trying to measure the resistance of this and it was 82 ohms, and I measured it, not realizing that this guy here had a current on. So I came to measure it. And now how a multimeter works is it sends a current through the appliance, it knows how much voltage it's sending out, it looks at the current that travels around as a result, and then it does a simple V equals IR to get the resistance. But if I've got a current already attached, it's going to muck up the system. So that was one of the things that I did incorrectly. You've got to make sure anytime you're measuring resistance, your power supply must be off. Uh, the next thing I was doing was, oh yes, here's a nice little one. In fact, where did my resistor go that I was measuring? Here we go. I just want to stick this back in. What is wrong with the following? This really took me a while to get. But then I suppose I'm not all that clever, so you won't be surprised. I was surprised by how silly it was. I want to measure the resistance of this wire here. Uh, there's my unit. I'll stick that there. It doesn't matter if you can see it or not. You can probably just about get it there. I stick it across here, and I get a resistance of... Eleven point five, eleven point three, or thereabouts. Now I know that that resistance is eighty-two. The color band is an identification. You use the color band to find the resistance, and it's eighty-two ohms. So I'm looking at it and saying, that's directly. I got my power supply off. I'm hooking it up directly. I got the wires. Then, the two wires. These two wires are out of the way. Let's take this guy here out of the way, just in case. No, but the other resistance is here. What other resistance? The two the wires. Up the left, no, no, the left. So these guys no, here. We about. Let's take this out of the way. And I got a resistance off. No. Actually, it should be the same. It's just not making direct contact. Can we get in contact? Is it still yeah. the same? Got a letter? Yeah. No, the resistance of the small one. This right. Yeah. What's actually happening is, I want the resistance of this, so I attach it to here. But as Karina says, what actually happens is the current is going, let's say, from the negative to the positive, or the positive to the negative. It doesn't matter. It can go through the resistance here, or it could or go through this path. there was no current. Enough. From here, what this guy does is it sends its own current out. So what happens is the two mess up with each other. That's why you have to make sure it's only this current when you're using when you're normally measuring the resistance of something. This guy here. So is you have to disconnect. But if you so if I if disconnect you. this guy, and now we go together, we get a resistance of 82 ohms or 83 ohms or whatever. And even room temperature will affect it ever so slightly because now it can't go around that way. So the only resistance it can have is this guy. And just because of the no. The resistance there is less than there, or mm. why is it going that way? It, yeah, because the resist remember the resistance here, this is a wire, which is a very good conductor, so it's a very small resistance, and the resistance here is only about 10 ohms. So, and that's less than that? Much less than here. Now, what will actually affect you get is some current, almost all the current will go this way, but a small bit of it will go this way. If that resistance is 10 times less, you get 10 times more current going that way. Like this if you one. had to just put the little pinny things on the metal either side of the resistor, would it make any difference? Like, like here? Wire, yeah. It'll still give me the same reading as here. Oh, technically, well, technically you're correct. There will be a slightly greater resistance here. But the resistance of these guys is so small that you wouldn't even notice it on the multimeter. 
But on the actual wire, the resistance would like, yeah, down. Oh there. yeah, the resistance between there and there would still be so slight that it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, anytime you've got a wire, like all of these guys, any wires, they're all specifically designed to have a very, very small resistance. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, if I want to measure a resistor, if I want to measure this guy here, measure its resistance, I can hold it in my hand and get a resistance of, once again, probably about 82 ohms. That's what it should be. Yeah. So 82.6 and it kicks down a little bit. Now technically, there's actually two paths. Just like here, there was two paths the current could have gone on. Oh, technically, here there are two paths. Yeah. What's the other path? It can go through me. Why can I discount that? If you don't stand in front. Your way. What is the resistance of my body? Thousand. It's going to be very, very big. It's going to be something like a million ohms. Or 100,000 ohms. It varies on your day, it varies on the amount of moisture on your skin. But it can be 100,000 ohms up to a million ohms. So that's very, very big relative to 80 ohms. So almost no current will go through. But if I was to take a resistor, the chances of me having this here, here we go. I think I picked this one out because it's about a million ohms. And we put it down there. And Anthony, you can get that there again, yep. hopefully. And I touch this. Oh, I need, I'm on the wrong scale. So we've got to bring it to about, that's 200,000 up here. I think my maximum is 200,000. Yeah, I'm spending too much time with this, but it's worth looking at. It's a useful exercise. And my reading is... Mm -hmm. In fact, my maximum there is, oh, that's it, it's 2,000,000. My number in two is 2,000,000, which is 2 million. So we're looking here at multiples of thousands. So that's a reading of 1,227,000. So it's 1 1.2 million. So basically, that reading there is 1.2 million. Now if I hold it in my hand, I can go up like this. One last time, and I'm almost done here. So it was 1.2 million at the table. The reading is now? About 500 and something thousand. Every one of those are thousands. So it's, I'm definitely getting an incorrect reading. Anthony, can you get that? Yep. Okay. So it's definitely incorrect. So I shouldn't be doing this if the resistance of that is very, very big, because now it's a lot of the, a considerable fraction of the current is going through my body, as opposed to just going through here.